Um, unfortunately, um, news broke the other day that the alibi, my hallowed home, my uh, sweet home, Alabama, the place that kind of birthed me in some respects, um, has unfortunately closed or is unfortunately closing at the end of the month. Um, we're not too sure if this is this not been made aware it's not been made um clear whether or not this has anything to do with the whole hackney licensing laws that have you know kind of like wreaked havoc on the entire borough of hackney in terms of new space not being able to open until after 12 and stuff and i'm sure you know the fact that they have to it was apply for late licenses and only get a couple of i don't know maybe four a year or whatever many it is it's not allowing to be successful but you know it's no coincidence that this has come after that whole idea and it's just it's just unfortunate right because again, Alibi has been a been a place that has been a home to me for I don't know maybe the best part of maybe since it opened maybe the best part of eight years has been a, a home to me. Um, it's been a place where I kind of started off my DJing. It's been a place where I started off uh, taking pictures of club events for the most part. It's been a place where I did start off putting on my own nights where I kind of was introduced to a, a new group of people who kind of introduced me to other groups of people, got me into other interested to other bands, interested to. Um, other artists interested to other things in general um, I went on a holiday with a couple of people that I met there I met some people on holiday that I met there um, you know romance blossomed there um, bro harps were broken there um, egos were damaged there money was made there money was lost there loads of things happened in that tiny basement club and I've only got really good memories of it it maybe didn't end the way everyone kind of wanted it to end you know towards the end um, I guess it, no, it was no coincidence that, you know, the kind of whole licensing thing took effect. Some of the promoters that used to work there were kind of like fell out with some of the owners that happened to be uh, the owners of the, of, of the space itself. And I'm sure some of the licensing laws kind of took effect and not everyone was kind of given the opportunity to kind of have more nights or to run stuff late as possible to kind of get more money, blah, 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 blah. So stuff happened towards the end, but overall they were able to kind of steer through all those kind of stormy waters and kind of come out at the other end. And the fact that what, what I really appreciate and what I really respect about the alibi is that they were able to kind of reinvent themselves, right? Because again, like I mentioned, I hope, I wish I could find that quote who said it, but there is a kind of common um, theme that runs in nightlife where it says that most clubs and bars have like a four year cycle, right? Um, where they kind of have to either reinvent themselves or they die, right? Because um, the people that kind of start with you in year one don't necessarily um, continue after year four. So you kind of have to constantly have a fresh amount if you kind of have fresh people coming in and kind of like reinventing the space and kind of taking back the reins and kind of putting on their own nights and stuff and be, i mean because essentially like i couldn't necessarily be a promoter at the alibi no more because i don't really hang out in that area anymore i'm not plugged in as much as i was there anymore i don't have as much quote-unquote clout as i did back in the day in order to kind of draw a crowd or to kind of get people to come out or have my pulse on who the DJs are that people like in that scene anymore. So you have to have people that are coming in who are a bit younger or who have not have as much experience to kind of come in with fresh eyes and a fresh approach and kind of take the mantle and kind of take it again and kind of take the club forward again. Um, and, if, and they did really well in doing that. They kind of, they probably they did the best of anyone on that strip in terms of surviving um, loads of different kind of weird eras and periods. But it seems as if like now they've kind of taken the decision to kind of like close the doors and kind of move on to passage new. Maybe it has nothing to do with the hacking Ladson laws. Maybe it's just like a, a good occasion to close it because now that whole that whole group um, of real gold has like five miles. They have Rita's, they have Pamela's, they have a few other places opening up, I think, soon as well. So they have a lot of stuff on their plates now that they probably need to concentrate a lot on and maybe, you know, alibi has kind of run its course in that respect so it might make sense just to kind of like you know kind of like uh hang up the gloves and kind of end on a high note in that respect but yeah so they put out a statement here which i'll kind of read out quickly but um which was kind of sad to see again because again like i said it's my spiritual home but i guess you know all good things must come to an end in some respects so they re they're right here on Facebook, the following. Um, we have some sad news to share. After eight years of service, we've made a difficult, very difficult decision to close the alibi at the end of the month. It's been one of the hardest decisions we've ever had to make. The bar honestly means more to us than we can really put into words. We swore to ourselves that we'd never, ever, ever close by choice, ever. The ethos of the alibi was always to be free entry bar that forever reflected the neighborhood that we were in. We've lived through the pipses of 2010, the 18 year olds of 2012, the deep V shirts of 2014, and the griminess of 2016. It was always important to us that the door stayed open, but it feels like the right time to let go of the alibi, which is true. That whole period was mad. I was through, I was there for the whole time, you know, it's mad. I think I put on my first night in 2011 i think so on the alibi so it's fucking insane to see how long that's been around man 
Um, part of the charm of the alibi was that on the surface we were messy, unorganized, and uninterested. The reality is that behind the scenes you'd be hard pressed to meet a bunch of people that cared much more, that cared uh, cared more. From our sound system to our hiring, our entrance policy to our drinking pricing, we fought about how people used our bar at every single possible moment, which is very true. The prices of the drinks they were very fair. The bouncers were always cool. You always made up good relationships with people in there. You know, being friends with them. People that worked in there were really, really safe as well. It was just a good environment overall. I thought for the most part to get fucking absolutely hammered in, right? Um, and, la, 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 and it continues. We would like to take this opportunity to thank absolutely every person that's ever worked behind the bar. All the DJs, the promoters who started their careers here and each guest that's ever strolled down our steps only to stumble up at a couple hours later. We're really proud um, to have served you and all you mean a great deal to us. Although Dino is having a baby and Mark is contemplating a quieter life, we're still going to be busy pushing on with Pamela down the road, our club five miles, a restaurant Toshi, uh, Hell Brewing in Seven Sisters, plus uh, various real gold related fun. So it makes sense, right? They've got like one, two, three, four, uh, f- basically five things on the go. So maybe it's just a good time to close. And it continues. We can't wait to see what Gem does uh, with uh, with the space. And we're pleased the bar stays in someone that cares much as we do. So I'm not sure who Gem is. Maybe I do know the person. So if someone's in their group is in their friendship group is taking over the space and probably going to do their own thing in there. But it's a, it's disappointing that it's going to close. I'm sure it's going to. So it's closing maybe to be again renamed something else. Um, but the major people won't be involved anymore. But yeah, R.I.P. Alibi, man. Like I've had, that's where I kind of started um, my career in general in terms of DJing, in terms of promoting parties, meeting new people and stuff. So it means a great, 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 great deal to me. I haven't been there in a long, long time since this, since I basically just kind of like stepped away from kind of hanging out on that strip in general and kind of concentrated more of my time uh, all my energy, all my money, making sure that I go to nightclubs and see like DJs that I kind of, you know, actual DJs and club nights and stuff. But it still holds a real dear part, um, a dear space in my heart. And of course, I'm going to be going there before it closes at the end of the month to kind of, you know, wish them well and stuff. But yeah, RIP Alibi, um, you you are gone but never forgotten. Um, I hope they do a good piece of merch as well. Like that would be sick. I hope they do some merch. Um, to kind of commemorate the eight years of absolute success that they've had. Hope they do some kind of uh, exhibition. That'd be cool to kind of commemorate because I've got loads of pictures actually. So if those guys ever want pictures, they can holler at me. Um, I've got loads of pictures of the kind of from the first time being there when there was nothing, there was kind of curtains and shit, no sign. So that'd be cool to kind of get up in there as well. So loads of things um, they could do to kind of commemorate the whole issue. Maybe they can put out a big coffee table book that'd be super pretentious but really cool as well. But yeah, RIP Alibi, man. Like an, a, a, an institution in London is fi- has finally closed its doors. And I wish all of the real gold family, all the ex alibi employees, much success in the future. Um, I'm sure they'll be successful in whatever else they do because they always smash it. Anyway.